back to my channel I'm gonna be doing another massive collective haul for you guys and this time I think is part 7 and like I mentioned before on my previous massive um, collective beauty haul um, the last the, the last one I did was on lipstick products now I'm gonna be doing um, blushes and bronzer um, haul for you guys and I'm sorry this is all high-end products um, I haven't like get a chance to do uh, my drugstore yet so I will get that um, sometime soon so mm -hmm. as are my most of my haul are collective haul so there's a lot of products that I have been like gathering up like for months already so I'm just gonna show you guys at once and this are um, my most recent um, like blushes and bronzer that I've been using and stuff since I purchased them so I hope you guys enjoy have any questions just leave them down below I'm gonna start out with uh, what is it one of my favorite which is my Dior purchase and I um, own Dior lipstick and stuff but I have never really owned any of their um, makeup like face products so I pick up this and the reason why I pick it up because I saw Ray uh, Ray view videos on the collection and I just fall in love with it and it's um, their what is it called their Dior skin new glow and I believe this is limited edition and, and uh, most of I think well with the one that I have from Dior most of their products are in a pouch especially their face products and um, their eyeshadow palette are all in a pouch like a velvet pouch and it come this one it come with a brush outside like that and I love love the brush it's so cute it's very soft but I don't really use the brush as much but this is how the packaging look like here you go and I'm in love with it I it's the packaging just beautiful it's so sleek and it's really nice and compact and this one is your skin new glow and it's in number 002 sunset and I'm just I'm loving it and this is there's a big mirror right there and there's a plastic thingy and this is how the actual products look like like I just love love all this it's just a very nice peachy glow it have the peach um, matte peach and then like a matte bronzer type and like a darker shade on the website see if they still have it because I know most of this I know most uh, Sephora doesn't carry this anymore so you can check on their website and that's that and another Dior um, products would be um, one of my first blush from them and this is how the box looks like and this one is um, strawberry shorbe and it's number 943 and this is how it looks like like I said again it comes with the pouch velvet which I love because the packaging is really nice so it's nice that it comes with a pouch to protect it. here's how it looks like and I just love it. It's, it's different from it look different from the um, this one is because this one is uh, limited edition, so the packaging is a lot different. But this one, this is how their blush look like, the packaging look like, and I just love it. It's really nice. Like I said, it's the same size as that, and it have the mirror. And this is how it look like. It come with the brush. I don't really use the brush, but they have the plastic thing also and this is how the color look like it's a very nice um rosy pink it's not it's not really um it's really sheer it's not that pigmented and this one is just like a, a a lighter color with like more shimmer and it's like a nice uh glow so you just mix both them together to use it and i really like it it's just a really nice soft um natural pink and that's my um Dior blush which I absolutely okay, love. Okay so my next purchase is from YSL and you guys know that how much I love YSL which is yes um, St. Lorraine um, products and I pick up their blush it's called blush variation and I pick up in number two I don't know you guys can see it right here this is the box um, and this one is a pink bloom and this, this is, how, is how the actual blush look like not the actual <laughs> packaging look like and this is the blush itself this is there's a mirror right there and there's a brush and this is how the actual blush look like it's so so little um it's really similar to the strawberry Dior of uh, the Dior strawberry sorbet but this one is more um brighter um I'm not really a a fan of it I feel like it's very powdery it's, it's not silky and it's not as pigmented as I like but um 
I just love it. It's just it's like um, a collection item, so I just collect that. Okay, next would be um, my Bobbi Brown um, 3 pan palette, and I purchased this um, the pan separately, which is like I think around ten dollar. And then I pick out three of their blushes, and I got this from my Sephora. Not every Sephora carry Bobbi Brown. Oh, it actually look like um, so it come with a big mirror, and this is the three color. And um, this one is Tawny, number two. This is Apricot, number six. And this is number one, Sand Pink. And one thing is, um, they have, I think, I believe they have six color. And it's from one to six. And I have number one, number two, which is very, very similar to each other. But number one is more of a pinky tone. And this one of more of like a mauve um, rosy um, color. And I just love the bright apricot color, which it doesn't seem like, you know, peachy. It seems more of like a, a brighter pink. But this is how it looks like. Bad swatch. And this is how it looks like. Um, as you can tell, they are very, very soup. Um, they very so as you can tell, they're very pigmented. I really like them, um, and they're all matte blushes. And you guys know how much I love matte products. I'm not a I'm not a fan of shimmer um, or glitter type of um, person. I just like um, everything matte. Like sometimes I love shimmer stuff too, but it just depends on like the actual product itself. But I love this. This is very convenient. I can just put this like you know when I travel or whatever. I just love all the color in here and um, you can check out sephora.com or the actual sephora store or any bobby brown counter um and then the next one will be uh let me go in with another palette and this is from Lori mercier and this is how the actual packaging um the box look like and i got their um pan which is the six pan palette um the custom compact and um this is how it looks like. I love it because it's very steady. Um, I love the packaging because it's very durable and stuff. And it got a great big mirror right there. And let's see. You can see. Okay, this is not a blush. I'm sorry. Please don't pay attention to the first row. Um, this um, bright pink part right here is all the blushes I got from Lori Mercier. And um, this one is Violet Orchid. This one is uh, Lotus Pink, and this one is Rose Petal. And um, I love it because this is very light, nudie, um, peach color. And this one is more of like, um, what is it, a peachy pink color. And this is a deeper pink color. And uh, most of them have a uh, very light shimmer to it. It's, it's pretty matte, but I feel like it's kind of a little sheer to it. And it's kind of powdery. It's not as pigmented as I like it, but I really like it. And up top is my eyeshadow, which um, I'll talk more about it when I do my um, eyeshadow, um, my, my eyeshadow uh, collective haul and stuff. So that is from Laura Mercier. I just love, love the packaging. It's just uh, good for, you know, when I do makeup for others and stuff is perfect to be in my travel kit and then next um, I'll jump into my um, NARS products and you guys know how much I love my NARS blushes so I went and pick up um, more NARS um, blushes and I pick up um, Exhibit A which is a really really bright um, orangey color which remind me of um, a Rock Republic uh, blush, but I don't—I forgot the name of it. But it's really nice. Um, this is really bright and fun. And this one is Amour. This one is Amour, and it's um, a matte color, which I love because you know how much I love my matte um, products. And then this one is Deep Throat, which is um, a lighter um, pinky color. And it has shimmer in it. You guys can see. It's very light. Which is... Oh, I... Ooh. Oh, my gosh. I messed it up. Then my next one is my absolute favorite. I use it all the time. It used to be in... It used to be in my um, travel makeup bag. And this is the color. I just love this color. It's a really nice everyday color. I just love, love, love. And it's a matte finish. Um, what is it? Not blush. It doesn't really have a like a wide range of uh, matte blush. So I just love all their matte blushes, and the colors are just wonderful. 
and this is torrid um, this is more uh, pigmented and it does have shimmer in it I haven't really used this color but um, I heard a lot of right review on this color yeah. and then last is my cream blush and is um, locum like I say Ooh. Ooh. this is how the color like I love it because it's really creamy it's really nice and it stay on for a really long time so I really like that and then um, my NARS products I pick up is um, what is it Albatross um, it's a highlighter it's a really nice highlight color I use it for what is it um, top of my cheekbone uh, for my brow highlights or like you know this is a really nice color I love it or my inner tear duct okay and I'm moving to uh, more blushes and I think I mentioned this already which is my Tarte um, Amazon Amazon oh, what is it Amazonian clay long wear blush and I love this color it's a really nice um, bright pink color but it does last really long I really really like the color and it's a matte finish so it's perfect this is how the packaging looks like and then I pick up this because I believe it was on sale and it's just so cute and it's a Toki Doki um, blush oh my god if I could even open it and this is how it looks like it's a really nice peachy color this is how it looks like it's very light um, I just use it I actually use this on top I layer um, blushes so this is a really nice um, over locum as well and then next will be my uh, Ula, Ula Masco. I, don't, I hate when I pronounce this. I pick up their blushes and I um, I remember someone told me um, their blushes are really nice. So I picked this up. It's a really nice pink color. As you can tell, I haven't even touched it yet. Just haven't really got a chance to use it. But I did um, swatch it. It's a really nice baby pink um, on my skin tone. I love this color. And this one is in um, Unreal. What and require quit it? I don't even know how you pronounce it, but anyways, I'll leave them down below if you need it. And this one was in Peggy um, Peach, and <laughs> I'm sorry if I forgot to mention the name. And the top one is Natural Beauty. Okay, and then um, next blush will be for Makeup Forever um, HD High Definition Blush, but this one is not regular blush. This is um, a cream blush, and it's in like um, this. And you just pump it out. Oh my gosh, crazy. Um, you don't need a lot, definitely don't need that's way too much. And then you just blend it out like that. Um, it's a really nice color. Uh, I don't really like the texture as much as I like the NARS, but it does show really nice on my skin and does stay put um, for a really long time. All right, so next is um, Hot Mama. Uh, not how mama is from the bomb and um, I pick up three of their blushes and this is how it look like well did I show you this two first and this one is down boy and this one is frat boy and I love 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 down boy because it makes me think of um, Mata Hari by NARS which is it's just like a really really lighter version of it and this one is like um a darker version of um, the down boy it was just frat boy and I love both of this because it's a matte finish one thing I don't like about it they, they can seem to be very powdery so you don't want to like you know dip your brush in there you just want to like touch it lightly and then just apply it on so I like that and I just love the packaging the bomb packaging is just super super cute it's just I don't know very different and then this one um, a lot of people talk about before and I got um, this, there's a mirror and this is how it look like this makes me really like remind me uh, of NARS orgasm It's very very similar and you can use this for your eyes as well um, so this is really nice I love this it's very convenient and very light and then next would be um, also from the bomb is uh, what is it their three-in-one um, palette type and it's how it look like it's come with a big mirror and then I have your bronzer and have your powder and your blush and the um, powder is sexy mama powder the blush is hot mama blush and um, the Bahama bronzer and like I said hot mama you can use it for your eyeshadow or your blush so it's like more of like a four-in-one um, uh, 
palette or whatever but it's really cute it's very convenient um i haven't really tried their bronzer out yet and this is how it looks like um i feel like their bronzer is a little bit muddy as um it's more on the brown side than an orangey side so yeah that's that and then now i'm gonna jump into a bronzer um i haven't really found a bronzer that i really really love but i actually found it recently and i'm just like i've been using it like so much like all the time okay let me go in with my um my favorite bronzer of like right now of the moment i've been using uh, uh, constantly and which is my bobby brown and this is number in number one golden light i just love love this bronzer it's really nice for contour and it's a matte bronzer this is a really nice color it doesn't um make me look muddy or like too orangey just love love the bronzer and it's very very silky it's applied on really nice and it stayed um on me for a really long time so i love that and that's from bobby brown and then my nars um i picked up another nars uh bronzer which i really like that laguna but i pick up this one um because i hear a lot about it and it's the casino and this is how it looks like it's in a big packaging and this is how the actual products look like this is a lot darker so you don't really use like you don't need a lot you just need to dip it in a little and just use it um i like it but i'm not really a big fan of it because it does have shimmer so i don't really overdo it with um this bronzer and then my next bronzer would be um by the bomb also and it's this one right here it's really silky i really like it um it's just a little light um it's more like a bobby brown color but it's uh seem a little what is it browner like it seemed more brown than orange and this is how it looks like and i think this is called bahama mama the last but not least is my um hourglass uh what is this superficial waterproof bronzer and this i love our glass packaging it's very durable it's really nice and this is how the packaging look like and you swivel it out to open it and there's a big mirror right there you can just like i love the packaging and this is how the color look like at first when i got this i just love it i use it constantly i just love the fact that it's waterproof but then I started to realize it looked muddy on me. I don't know why, but this is how it looked like. Then that's just one swipe, as you can tell. Um, like right there, it's so pigmented. I think this is like the most pigmented blush I own, and it's very, very silky. It's not powdery at all. It's very silky. I could tell you that. And I don't know. I just doesn't. I kind of don't really love it. Love it as much as I used to. But it's also a great bronzer, and it does stay put throughout the day um, when I'm sweating or whatever. And it come with a really nice brush. The brush is like synthet synthetic type, so it's really nice. And that's that. I just love the packaging. It's very very nice with a big mirror. So that's really nice all right so i hope you guys enjoy my uh long haul once again this is all my blush and my bronzer that i purchased like in the past two months and i've been like using it constantly so i really haven't like i really oh, oh, oh. so that is it that's the end of my haul i hope you guys enjoy have any questions leave them down below and i will be posting up my next haul soon <laughs> to check out my previous video please comment rate and subscribe follow me on twitter at tiny kb and thanks for watching bye